he's still here, right? And he doesn't do anything. He just waits for us. You return? No. Might you have news? <laughs> I don't return. Why are you calling Demon's Knights back? Yes, but they are returning slowly. No doubt the war's progress, as well as the Darkspawns, hinders many of them. All right. Then I must resume my duties. The civil war continues, and Loghain is no doubt angered Redcliffe has not been disabled. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, my lady. You are a great and noble woman. I hope it continues to go well, for all our sakes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that compliment that Mirad doesn't deserve at all. Um, so, I have to remember to buy, I think I will find it in Denerim, buy some recipes for Morrigan, uh, some better potions recipes, uh, especially health. Wait a second. Oh. Alright. So the mystery door that wasn't opening is now open. Alright. Hmm. Nice painting. Alright. So we are now going to Tannerim, but first and foremost... Where is the exit? I want to go to the exit with the portcullis. Right? Is that how you call that thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. And we are going to our camp. I'm thinking about bringing Shell. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. You were there, you saw what happened? Yes, I know. I've had some time to think about it now. You let Lady Isolde sacrifice herself! With blood magic! How could you do that? Well... You think I should have killed the little boy instead? We could have gone to the Circle of Magi! We, we could have tried harder! We should have tried something that didn't involve blood magic. That's for sure. This is the old son we're talking about here. What do you think he'll say when we revive him? Well, it's not my business, point A. And second, there is nobody at the Circle of Magi. I don't know if you remember this. There are Templars, yes, and a couple of mages, maybe. I think that he'll see that there were larger things at stake, no doubt. I just don't know how you could do it, how you could make that decision. I owe the Arl more than this. Well, you, are, you aren't you are making any decisions, so... Why there is no option to tell him that he... He never wants to take decisions and now he's basically... Uh, it's n bad mouthing is not the right word. He's he's blaming me for taking decision that decisions that he would never take to begin with. He could be leading this thing, but he doesn't want to. Yeah, that is not. What is, the, what is this one? I don't remember this one. So this is about you and him and not me at all? I don't know what this is. I love... Uh, a decision had to be made. I made it. But I... I think Mira will bat her lashes and... Uh, you know... Be persuasive. I honestly did the best that I could, Alistair, with what was given me. Seriously. You're right. Of course you're right. I'm such an ass. Yes. I should know better than to second guess you like this. Oh, why am I getting on your back about it? You did what you had to. It's just... All this death. Never mind. Let's just stop there before I do more than shove my foot in my mouth like an idiot. Yes, Alistair. And <laughs> he still disapproves. What are you doing? Uh, oh, it, it, the fire is um, not there. 
Alistair. <laughs> All right. So there is one thing we can do for Alistair right now, and we should do it now. And it's giving him the amulet. I should have it here. Yeah. It makes sense to give him, to give it to him right now. This. This is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Well, we've stopped moving your hands, Alistair. You're weird. I found it in Radcliffe Castle in the study. Oh, the Arl study? Yeah. Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Well, I don't know. Perhaps you mean more to him than you think. I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When... He recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. It's difficult not to listen to you, actually. Sorry, did you say something? Ho, ho, ho. See this gesture I'm making? Can you hear that? Yeah. I see your gestures a lot. All right, so do I have anything else that can be given to them from my inventory? Um, I don't think so, right? This is not the gift. Oh, we have some steel bracers and a small silver ring. Oh, this is for Stan. Yeah. Should I really give this to him as well? Just... Now that I'm here. Is that for me? Really? Oh, this is... Wow. I'm... Wow! Uh, this is for the dog. Should I dump this on you anyway? Any anyway? <laughs> I don't know. But I don't really have anything else specific, right? This is for win, but you can give him, I think, to anybody and it will give you plus five points, I think. You don't have to give every specific gift. There are gifts that are particularly important uh, for some people, but otherwise you can give them, uh, you can give gifts to anybody really. Let's give Stan one. Yeah, let's give him this portrait. Though I don't know. Let's see what gifts I have in here. Hey Shale, you're going to come with us in our next adventure and yes i could give this to morrigan right now but uh, i want her to talk more to me i could give this to her and this to leliana to move things on a bit And then what do we have here? This generic bracers. This generic. This I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't know. How am I supposed to know that Stan likes paintings? I don't think I'm yet. I'm there yet. So now I have Liliana. Oh, 
Yeah, let's let's proceed slowly <laughs> with this thing. Oh, how dear of you. I am grateful. It is thoughtful indeed. Well, thank you, Morrigan. What happened? Morrigan. Well, let's read her, shall we? Which of the wilds such idle fancies, those legends? Have you no minds of your own? Of herself, Morrigan says little. She does not deny being a witch of the wilds, but beyond that, everything about her is in question. Her mother claims to be Flamet, if that's true. The Morrigan... <laughs> the Morrigan might well be a very powerful witch. For the tales of the daughters of Flamet tell of twisted monstrous women who can kill a man with fear. She, may, she was m made to accompany the surviving Grey Wardens, the payment Flamet said for saving their lives at the Tower of Ishol. Morgan's critical eye is not reserved solely for others. Knowing or not, she has a simple fondness for jewelry and it is very particular about her appearance. And then... Hmm. We shall read the others as well. Let's go talk to her and see if she has any thoughts. She acquired a skill. This one? Um, yeah, I want to see if she has something to say uh, about what just passed. Because Alistair clearly had something to say. I have a thought. Yes. <laughs> just the one. Oh? What's on your mind? We have an opportunity that I believe we should take advantage of. To the point. My mother was once divested of a particular grimoire by a most annoying Templar hunter. It occurred long before I was born, but even today, Flemeth speaks of the loss with great rage. With the circle of magi in such disarray, it occurs to me that this might be the perfect time to recover the tome from their possession, for surely it eventually ended up in their hands? I think I saw it somewhere. You're telling me this now? We were in the tower before and there was a lot of ruckus going on, so we could have taken it. It did not occur to me when we were still in the mage tower. I wish it had. All right. Truly, Mother has assumed for a long time that the tome was lost forever. I only remembered it now after thinking what treasures might be found in the Circle of Magi's tower now in its condition. Hmm. Well, uh, what makes you think the mages still have this book? Flemeth is a sorceress of legend, is she not? And her grimoire would be more than a mere curiosity to mages that daren't even glance towards the places my mother has walked for eons. No doubt tis considered something dangerous, perhaps best locked away somewhere dark, yes? And if <laughs> not, then at least I know it does not exist. But there is no harm in looking, surely? No, not really. What, what do you want with this grimoire exactly? Tis a book of spells of the sort that Flemeth has dabbled with throughout her long life. Not the sort of thing that would benefit a mage such as yourself, perhaps, for you were taught a different path. I, however, was taught by my mother. I know a way around the wards my mother would have placed on such a tome. I know the language that she would have written it in. I would find such a tome most useful. Hmm. I wish I was taught in your ways as well. Useful in what way? Useful in the way that it might increase my power. Useful in the way that I would become more useful to you. Does that not follow? Well, yes. But what's in it for me? My eternal gratitude? Oh, really? At the very least, it shall enable me to help you more. Is that not worthwhile? Mm -hmm. If only you could teach me something. Well, if we go back to the tower, I'll look for it, but it might be in a pile of junk right there, <laughs> next to Shale. <laughs> Good. I am most interested to see its contents, should it be located. 
The grimoire is leather-bound and adorned with the symbol of a leafless tree, should you come across it. If not, however, then I shall simply put it out of my mind. Alright, I promise to look in the pile of junk. I, s I know we have it. I think Mira would probably try and check it out for herself before giving it to her. But uh, we'll probably... Um, not be able to actually do anything with it so let's pretend that for a while she's <laughs> trying to play with it opening it mostly so shell do you have something to tell us oh. <laughs> well what's with the heavy size oh that merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it the most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. Yeah, like everybody, I suppose. What stain? She doesn't have blood, I believe. Well, I don't think our chances are so bad. It seems like we are slowly managing oh how adorable such hope is sweet to see if a bit alarming what's that did it hear flapping wings there may be pigeons nearby we should be alert <laughs> they are generally everywhere but uh, i should give her a gift maybe this one Oh, Shale, Shale, we're gonna take her with us to the tower, to the tower, why did I say tower, to the temple, that's what it is, of the sacred ashes, but um, we're not taking her to Denerim, because um, she could, uh, people would notice her and we don't really want to be noticed as of yet. Ooh, shiny. There you go. Let's talk with Stan. Yes. I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. What did you mean about fiends in the Saharan? Ours wear the faces of men. Well, do you mean their abominations? No, they do not have the excuse of demons within them. Oh. Darkspawn, abominations, plagues and storms. Men are far more dangerous than these. Eh. One moment of betrayal can bring more ruin than an earthquake. You know this. Ah, all right. Now, now you got the point, yes. So they're traitors. They are Talvashoth. They uh. say they are grey ones. True in the knowledge of themselves. They are gaping holes where men used to be. Nothing can fill them. So what do they want, really? I don't know. There was a village in the mountains of Saharon. Farmers. They grew cinnamon and nutmeg trees in perfectly ordered rows. There would always be one person waiting. A foreman, a harvester, rank didn't matter. Often they would say nothing. Simply watch as we worked to examine the empty house, a new one each time, that had once been the home of a colleague, a friend. We always made a point of searching. Now and then a body would turn up in a river eaten by rain and crows. More often we found nothing. Even in the worst parts of the jungle, the villagers would send someone with us to see the tiniest piece of bone or cloth. Anything contained the possibility of their lost friend. Must we speak of this? We could be fighting something. Okay, well then, let's go. As you wish. More stuff about the Tower Shot. Which is interesting. But Mira didn't actually understand that he was talking about them in the beginning. She thought... There were real demons or something, like we've just seen in the tower. 
Hey, Liliana. Yes. Mm. Well, here I am. What was life in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Mm, many people in the Chantry are condescending. They, yeah, they tend to be self-righteous. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Hmm. Well... What did you say to them in response? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Oh, right. You cut it short, didn't you? Here I am. Well, oh, let's see. This should be good. Go ahead. You actually enjoy being an assassin. And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow in Antiva. You are respected, uh, you are feared, the authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses, even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well, some people simply need assassinating. Or do you disagree? Uh, no, I don't. I understand it. Well, have you ever killed somebody that was innocent? Now there is an interesting word, innocent. How many men do you know who can claim to be truly innocent? But if you're talking generalities, such as children and relatives and bystanders and such, never on purpose, but it happens. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but death comes to us all. If not me, then some wasting disease, or a fall down the stairs, or at the hands of a darkspawn. It's all relative in the end. Not really, not that much, but... That sounds more like an excuse. Death happens, as we like to say. And when I get paid for it, death happens more often. <laughs> as far as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed. The pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't know if Mira has these kind of tendencies, really. Not really. She takes pleasure in killing, but not that much as... as much as... Zevran, or in the way Zevran does it, so I think that from her point of view, Zevran is really I mean, when you kill somebody with, with magic, it's pretty clean <laughs> and what Zevran does is way too messy for her but she's not against it uh, that's, that's just a little bit sick it is? Perhaps you are right. I've been told from time to time that I'm a sick, sick man. Often in bed, oddly enough. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules, oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? <laughs> Yeah, you could be... <laughs> you you could be another kind of worker. Maybe. <laughs> well, you don't have any other skills. That's the only thing he's been trained from. 
what Mira understands. But do you have any other skills? None that I wouldn't get into trouble for performing publicly. Uh, of course, all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. <laughs> oh, well. So, now I'm going to sell some stuff and I'm gonna do it very quickly, hopefully. All right, let's go. I've sold some stuff and that's about it. So who's going to come to Danary? Indeed. Just for the first part. Yes. Uh, well, I think... Could bring Stan, but it's not like we're gonna do much. Yes. So we need to get there. Well, <laughs> sir. I have more news. Oh, um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Honora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no... We may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Will not roll out the welcome for the now! We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own! I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Right. So dark and gloomy, as always. What about you? So I imagine it has been some time for you, Liliana. Some time for me? I do not know what you mean. Some time since you last knocked boots, shall we say? Uh, you did just come from the cloistered life, no? Of course it has been some time. There are more important things in life than knocking boots, Zevran. Oh, I'll not argue that. I simply mean that the body has urges. Urges given to us by the Maker. Yours must be considerable after all that time. That is a very personal question. <laughs> I mean no offense. I simply offer my services should you ever feel the need for release. Let me think about it then. Should every man in Ferelden suddenly die, you may even have your chance. Haha, -ha, progress. Oh, God. As if that's the only important thing in life. Alright, let's talk with this lady here. Good day. Hello. No, she doesn't want to talk. We need to go back to the Tower of, Ma of Magi soon. Oh, there are so many people we can talk to here. But I think mysterious door. Oh <laughs> yeah, all right.
Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. All right. I recognize you. From Ostagar. And trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden. Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend. And good King Kaelin. I demand satisfaction, sir. Who is this guy? Who are you? Me, a Grey Warden? You must be mistaken. Pardon me, sir. You must think I'm a fool. You really do look like... Uh, too much ale, yes. Uh, too much. Excuse me. Who is he? I don't even remember him. Do you think they sell silk ribbons in that store? I've been meaning to spruce up my boots for the longest time. I don't think so. We should go in there. And I'm off. Oh, I can enter that? Going. Don't need that. All oh, right. I'm surprised this place is open. You could just roam in here. Yes. Well, maybe I pick those up. All right then. Huh. The door opens a crack in response to your knock. There is a light breeze, like a change in pressure. Present a small painted box. <laughs> A large shadow nodes. A pouch of coins appears in exchange. The door closes. <laughs> oh well, that was a good reward. Don't know why I did it or what is served. Mira doesn't know at all. And it's fine. <laughs> 